And homeless numbers across Texas are down from nearly a decade ago. That's according to a new report by the Housing and Urban Development. But those numbers are being met with some skepticism. ABC 7's Joe Sortagon reports. I was in a really bad situation before, and I felt they, they saw it that I was just continuous and continuous. For the past year, Irene Arredondo has been in and out of homeless shelters. If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't back to the same spot, but they've offered me like no opportunities. Irene is part of the more than 1,200 homeless reported in El Paso this year. New numbers from Housing and Urban Development show a major decline statewide, dropping from a steep 47 percent reported in 2007 to 23 percent this year. It's not statistically valid. John Martin helps operate the Opportunity Center for the Homeless. While he says there has been a decrease, he doesn't agree with HUD's calculations. That's because HUD tracks these numbers by counting how many homeless are staying in shelters and on the streets on a single night in January. It's basically a snapshot in time. It may not necessarily be characteristic of what the true needs of the community are. The El Paso Coalition for the Homeless says it's done that way because it's colder and they believe the population is highest. But Martin says in order to get an accurate representation, numbers should be calculated at least within a 30-day period. And until the measurement changes, there's no way to tell what the real needs are. The question is, what is really the true number and what do we as a community here in El Paso need to do to end homelessness? And we really don't have a solid answer to that. Joe Sertagon, ABC7. The Opportunity Center for the Homeless is working with UTEP and Workforce Solutions to conduct an analysis on the way numbers are measured. They hope to complete the study next summer. We have some